Hey guys, it's Jimmy here and welcome back to Richard Burns Rally for another video. Now, after many requests, I've decided to do my first NGP video today, which is in new generation physics. And uh, here's one of the cars. It's a rear-wheel drive Porsche 911 GT3, as you can see on the screen. It's over 300 horsepower, uh, weighs quite a bit, and two-wheel drive, basically. So we're going to be sliding around a lot from the rear, as can be expected. Um, I've not really driven many of these cars before. I've driven this car for about, I don't know, 500 meters or so just so I can get used to how the car drives etc how it feels on the steering so I don't crash straight away but I can tell you already this is going to be a very challenging video for me to do I'm going to try and talk about the car as much as I can how it feels etc but the reality is I'm going to be probably busy saving it for most of the stage so um, I thought I'd pick a nice easy stage for us today we're going to be doing mine shaft in Australia I say easy of course I'm being massively sarcastic it's quite a difficult stage and um, yeah looking forward to going over that massive jump and destroying my front end so let's get to it shall we there is our fat Porsche, complete with roll cage, which I'm sure will get a massive workout during this video. So, handbrake on. There used to be handbrakes in this car, which is pretty cool. And away we go. So, big Porsche at the start, as expected, because all that power is going for the rear wheels. Front wheels are just there for balance, of course, and of course we're in a Porsche as well, so bear in mind all the weight is very wonky. So, although you can argue for rally, that's probably a good thing. Have a weird weight distribution. As we make our way the first part of the stage and I can already tell you I can feel that weight in the rear the rear end of this car definitely is a heavy part I can feel it sort of penduluming around behind me which is I guess sort of the idea of rally to get the car sideways as much as possible we've got more horsepower than the stock rally car that come with Richard Burns about 100 horsepower more but we can't put it down of course because of the way the drive train is a uh, configured two-wheel drive at the back and um, I've seen a car similar to this I forget I'm not sure it was this particular car but there was a uh, rear-wheel drive uh, Porsche 911 of some sort driven by uh, Mr Delacour in a couple of rallies and that was a really cool car I really enjoyed watching that when it went round but uh, use that handbrake there when we, when we use the handbrake we have to put the, uh, the clutch in because the rear-wheel drive of course we look on those rear wheels the engine is going to just stall so that's another pedal I have to it's a grips with, but keeping it in fourth gear here, it's my safe gear. Okay, a bit of speed. I looked at the uh, the gearing, apparently this thing's good for 250 k's or so in a straight line, so I'm going to try not to get anywhere near that, because I imagine that at that point the crash will be inevitable, but um, even so, going along here just under 100 k's is pretty challenging. Nice amount of torque there to keep us, uh, to keep us honest. Oh, Titans, Titans, Titans to the left. Oh, I stalled the car. See there, I hit the handbrake, didn't get the, uh, the clutch in in time. And we stalled away we go. Very epic pull away there as we probably showered the uh, spectators with stones, etc. Did you then? Don't go down the bank, Jimmy. You have to definitely work with, the, uh, work with the car. You can't struggle against it too much. If the car wants to go wide at the corner, let it. Again, using that torque then, probably down to not be in fourth so much but at the moment this is just survival this is the furthest that I've ever driven in this car and uh, this car these NGP cars are part of the RS RBR mod as I've mentioned before and I've linked before I'll probably remember to link it again definitely worth trying out and obviously bear in mind of course that there were no rear wheel drive cars in Richard Burns rally so the physics and the uh, drive frame did not exist in this game it's been completely put in by somebody else so I think this is actually a a bodge front wheel drive car. Well, so that's how it used to be anyway. I'm not quite sure it looks like that now, but um, I imagine the effort has to, has to go into that to make this car feel remote like a rear wheel drive car. It does feel quite a bit like one. It give it that. Again, it reminds me of Dirt Rally and the rear wheel drive cars in that, but see, those cars had grip, and this doesn't. Just really just hopping between the brake and the throttle all the time. A little bit of a, uh, open up a little bit here. See, up to 130k is pretty much instantly. Very fast and straight line this, so I've got to really keep that in check when I am accelerating. And it does make all the power at the top end, so I really shouldn't be just buzzing around in fourth gear, but the higher gear I'm in, the easier it is to pull out the corners without some sort of massive power slide and trying to keep traction as much as we can. The thing that I noticed most about the NGP car straight away though is um, how heavy the wheel is in comparison. I'm getting a lot more feeling in the wheel 
wheeled through the, the stock cars. I'm not quite sure how that is done. We have another modder, so I haven't got to figure that out. And we've stalled it again. It's so easy to stall it when you're just trying to get on the clutch quickly. My foot seems to move faster than my hand, unfortunately. Now we're getting some of that power down, he says. Don't touch that, don't touch that, don't go down there. Oh, big hit from the rear there. I think we're okay, though. It's so easy just to get sideways in this car. Once the pendulum has started, that accident started a long time ago. There's nothing that I could do to stop it, apart from just sort of flail into it. Try not to put a wheel down into that bank there, because the rest of the car will just follow it down. That is the nature of mine shaft. We will of course be taking a jump at full speed because I need to see what happens. <laughs> My curiosity will get the better of me. I'm not sure if damage is on actually, so I'm not sure if we'll make the uh, we'll make it past it, but it's worth trying it anyway. Damage doesn't seem to be on because I did hit that tree pretty hard and I'm not noticing any driving differences at all. So much power, that's the thing though, I've just I'm not, I've not really put across in this video, is there's so much power to this car. As you start getting it high in the RPM range, it's very scary. Are you ready though, guys, for the mineshaft jump? Down the gear. Power! 100 mile an hour over the jump. Oh, dead out of dead. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> just nosedived over that. Yeah, damage isn't on because I would just be in several hundred bits by now. I can never, res never resist that jump. Obviously when you do it in career mode you have to be very careful over it, but when you're just driving for fun you always just gun it over it and do whatever you got to do. You see how much the speed picked up there as soon as I got up into the high rev range. Right, corner there. Oh, again, I missed the clutch. I'm really bad at hitting that clutch. I'm listening to pace notes apparently. Bear in mind it's my first time in this car over a stage, so please be kind. If I can't listen, put some more time into, I would love to uh, do a bit more in this. I've got to figure out the setup and the uh, intricacies beyond just mashing the right pedal and enjoying life. Although one could say that is essentially what sim racing should be. So, uh, to me, you've got a 90 right coming up, so you're going to slow down for it. That's in. Almost. I think I'd be better off if I did stall there. Again, getting the use to the weight of the rear end is quite difficult. We're quite near the end of the stage now, so I don't have much more time to do that. So quite near, we are in the stage. Yeah, across the line, 6:46, pretty awful time. And then power! God, that thing's very quick. So there, guys, that is the NGP Porsche 911 GT3 on the rally stage, rear-wheel drive. Lots of fun. Um, of course, again, part of the RSRBR, RSRBR, really hard to say, mod, and that is free. You haven't got to pay for that at all. So when you get Richard Burns, go and download that, go and try this car out and go and see what real, a rear wheel drive car should drive like. Crazy, isn't it? You see why four wheel drive one, basically, <laughs> with that. Anyway, guys, rambling. Um, thanks very much for watching. Uh, really fun to do this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to hit that like button, do all the nice stuff, subscribe, comment below, let me know what you think of the video, etc. And of course, stay tuned for future videos. So take care, guys, and have an awesome day. Ta-ta.